Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true note, and welcome to Iron Fish, a game I believe I saw at EGX, maybe 2014, quite a while ago, anyway, and it caught my attention back then, and I'm still interested now, because this is an underwater psychological horror game, which is always the sort of thing I like, I enjoyed so immensely, but this is, well, the Steam page claims it is an open world horror game. Now that's interesting, because horror games don't generally go for open world at all. Horror games go for tight, confined spaces, because, you know, it's easier to creep you out when you can't really move, and then it can jump things out at you, and you're trapped and enclosed, and that claustrophobic feeling suits the horror genre extremely well. But open world horror? That's interesting, because, like, you know, games that you might think are a little bit open world, even like Silent Hill, it's not really open world, open world, because when you go into the interiors, they're still very tight and claustrophobic. So, interesting idea, especially as well. I think the ocean's a fantastic place for this. I find the ocean very unnerving. There's scary things in it. I don't like squids. They freak me out. Right, let's play Iron Fish. Some players may find parts of this game intense and confusing. Okay, that is an unusual warning. So, yeah, story or survival? which I'd normally read as like a game mode, survival mode or story mode, but it says game difficulty. You know what? We're here for survival horror, in for a penny, in for a pound. Survival it is! Oh, this is nice. I've got a bit of momentum on me because I'm underwater, which makes sense. See, so yeah, if I kind of push forward, I like slow down, but I keep going forward a little bit. Nice. So here we are under the sea, and I've got to find my way to my submarine. In theory, can I just... What stops me just going back up to the surface? I wonder if anything just stops you going up to the surface. It's just swift swim straight up. And oh, that really burns your oxygen, doesn't it? Yeah, that burns your oxygen a lot. Nope, I think there's an invisible ceiling. I'm definitely not going any further up at the minute. That's a shame. Right, where's the sub in that case? I think I saw it down here. Let's go down there. I really hope I can top up my oxygen in the sub. Otherwise, I've just burnt like two-thirds of all my oxygen. Uh, command, this is sub one. I found a strange anomaly down here. There appear to be credits. I repeat, credits. So I can refuel my Trimex. What's my Trimex? Oh, that's my oxygen. Okay, so I need to nip inside the sub. I can just, like, it automatically tops my oxygen if I nip inside, or I can go up to it, and I can top it up. Trimex is presumably my my air, which is a mix of the stuff I breathe. Well, I know I need oxygen. What's the other two? I'm quite frankly suspicious. Release the aqua jet! I can't release the aqua jet. Right, I haven't been tutorialised in the aqua jet yet. I'm guessing that's a little jet ski or something I use. Right, in we go. Let's just drive this thing around a little bit, shall we? Lovely. Now I can, yeah, I steer around, and then I can ascend and descend. Lovely. So this thing doesn't actually seem that much faster than me, to be honest, but it is a source of oxygen, which is nice. Now, I've also got, ah, I've got my quest marker over, oh, oh, over here. I think I'm rescuing something or something. I think so. Right, down we go. Lovely. Ooh, this is cool. I like the fact you can look around and see a proper cockpit. That's nice. Right, lights. Yep, give me... Lights. The lights are not that effective, but I'm sure they'll be better when I'm in an actual cave. This game might or might not subscribe to the proper... Oh, I know I'm going in the right direction because there's more credits down there. Repeat, more credits. And that, I'm guessing, is the marking point for where I need to park. Lovely, so the submarine is just my way of moving around the overworld nice and safely. Forward. And, oh, oh, you know what? Maybe just, okay, d stop, stop, wait, how do I stop? Oh, there's no brakes. There's no brakes on a submarine. Right, down, 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 forward a bit more, down, and... Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's clearly a shark. I know there was a shark there, all right? I know there was a shark. And that... That fish just swam directly through the cockpit. And I saw you there, Mr. Shark, all right? I flipping saw you. Right, I imagine... I want to be getting out right now, because I need to be repairing the sub. Though I don't trust for one flipping minute that we're safe here. Ooh, I found buried treasure. Marvellous. Right, buried treasure. Crack it open. And it is... Ooh, oxygen. I've just found oxygen. Right, well, there's... Ooh, there's a repair kit. That's useful. Don't take the oxygen. I might need that later. All right, instead, we're going through here... And I know I saw a shark in here. I know I, I did. And that thing's thing weirdly glowing. Right. There we go. Down. Yeah, I've you got the light. light on. Stop complaining. Wait, what was your name? Marina? No, it'd be too convenient if your name was Marina. I'm about to get attacked by a shark. I literally saw a shark in here, but apparently I didn't notice it because I'm the worst at diving. I found the other sub. No bloody clue how you were supposed to have got in here. Unless this is a shark in disguise. Right. Crack this open. I'm going to need another repair kit, possibly. Hello. So, for, ooh, first aid kit. That's useful. 
and oxygen as well. I'll pick that up after I'm done. For right now, I probably just need to repair this thing, right? And then, oh, oh, yeah, flip indeed. Oh, hello, there's something floating up here. Oh, oh dear. Pick up a data log from a bitten off hand. Marshall, I found something. So five subs and sir, with all due respect, what if it turns out to be nothing more than a myth? Is that a serious question after everything you've witnessed? So they found something weird down here. Got it. By the way, there was some spare oxygen down here. I'll just have some of that. Lovely, that's a free top up. Why do I get the feeling that shark's going to attack me on the way back out? Because the game gave me a health kit. I'm about to get attacked by a shark. Hello, Mr. Shark. Where are you? You may as well show yourself. I'm deeply worried that you're about to attack me. Yep, there's a shark over there. I'm just going to get inside my submarine, like right now, because I don't like you. What? Oh, no, it's going away. It's okay. Hello. Actually, I wonder, can I, I'm just going to go after the shark for a second. Hang on, Mr. Shark. If I want to be friends with you, do you want to be friends with me? And... Hello, Mr. Shark. I literally collided with a shark. And you swam. <laughs> Man one! Shark- uh oh, not Shark Zero, something else is attacking me! Wait, what else is attacking me? Oh! There was more than one shark! Right, I should probably just get in the submarine as quickly as- Are you trying to eat me right now? Oh, 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 no, no, no! Go, go, okay, maybe just get back in the sub right now. Right, back in the sub, lovely. Right, up we go. Turn her around. Ow! 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 Do not ram the sub! I like how the health is indicated by cracks, by the way. That's pretty good. Now, I'm supposed to be going in this direction. I need to find just a nice, quiet, safe, not shark area. Because then I can just repair up the sub. So just go over to, yeah, this direction. And bring her up. Lovely. Hello, Mr. Manta Ray. Now, if I just, hopefully by now, like, wait, how fast can a shark swim? Probably faster than 33 knots. I actually don't know how fast that is. We really, really ought to be putting this in like a sensible metric, like kilometers or miles per hour. Okay, depth. Can I actually surface or can I just get like close to the surface? Well, I'm up to only 40 meters. Shark at the friend, open water. Stay close to walls and floors or they will swarm. Oh, I feel bad about my let's go right up to the open water surface right now. Well, it's saying I'm almost at the surface right now and... There we are. Now we're at... Wait, what? Okay, I'm now minus four meters in the sea. And... Okay. Whatever. Pause here for a second. Zero knots. Are there any sharks nearby? No. But the sub's in bad shape. Ooh, I like the little bubbles. Yeah, the cracking. Cracking to indicate things have gone wrong. That's quite good. But actually, I think the sub might be leaking. Let's just nip outside for a second here. Check for sharks. No, I think we're... Uh-oh. No, no, you're fine. You're just a normal fish. All right, hang on for a second. Here. Oh, my sub appears to be... It's going over there. Either I'm rising or it's falling. Something's happening and it's bad. Right, so, repair kit. Hang on, sub. Sub, wait, what are you doing? Don't do this. All right, now we just repair. Lovely, and also, can I top up my... I can probably top up my auction in a second, but I don't really need to. Lovely. So this thing is now fixed. Lovely. So now the sub is fine. All right, now I need to be fine too. So I'm going to use a, a tool on myself. I'm just going to literally inject myself with some stuff. And that sorts out the cracks in my suit. I feel like everything's okay. Don't crash the sub. All right, down. Down, down, down. There we go. Right. So now I'm technically inside the mission space. If I nip out now, that should be what I need. So I don't like the look of that shark. I've decided I don't actually want to... No. Go away. I've decided I don't actually want to nip outside my sub at this exact moment in time. Okay, so next objective. Retrieve two data logs. And oh, oh, oh no. No, no. Ah, I see. So, there's one directly beneath me there, because, yeah, the compass doesn't actually have an indicator for up or down. So, I'm going to have one of them around here. So, another broken down submarine around here. 
And hopefully there'll be a box where I can top up some oxygen around here. And this will be it around here somewhere. Yep, flip again. You are constantly surprised by broken down submarines, aren't you? Right, foot. And another foot. And a torso. But where is the actual thing I'm collecting? Oh, oh, hang on. There's something over here. More floating bits. That's just, okay, another foot. Oh, oh, this looks technical. Data log. Nice, next to a... I don't know what that was. A thing. And yes, indeed, reading a data log does not pause the game, so I probably ought to get back to the sub to do some reading safely in there. I'm going to say safely in there. Not that safely. And if I stay close to the ground and close to the walls, the sharks are less likely to attack me. Okay, so find a safe spot, but inside my own submarine apparently just isn't allowed. Okay. Well, now I'm flipping worried. I can see there's a flipping shark over there. Right, let's just... I'm just going to stick right close to my sub, so hopefully he won't see me. So, we've got a new data log here. It mentions one of the subs was carrying cesium. Doesn't that stuff explode when it comes into contact with water? It does, but both Necton and Odin make clever use of that property for controlled demolitions occasionally. Okay. So, controlled demolition was part of the objective here. Fill up the oxygen, and my battery's fine too. Let's turn that off for now. And oh, you're going that direction. Right, so, one more thing I need to get. Somewhere around here. Ah, I see it. It's over there. Now, if I just nip straight down at this point, and stick close to the walls, and stick close to the floor, the sharks go for you in open water. I like this mechanism. This is a good mechanic, the idea of, yeah, the sharks everywhere, you can't defend yourself so don't even try, which is, you know, the epitome of a horror game, that you just need to avoid things. But rather than just being like, you know, a monster you can run from, because you're like a scuba diver, you're vastly slow- oh, Don't do that to me, fish. You're vastly slow these guys, you can't just run away from them or anything, you've just got to carefully navigate in such a way as hopefully won't draw their attention. But if they did decide to go for you, you'd basically be screwed. It's a really good setup for a horror game, and it's very- I find it more terrifying because it's very real. Because sharks swimming around is, you know, fundamentally quite realistic. Well, I think. I hope sharks swim around. I don't know. Oh, hello. What have I just found? Have I just found a head? Hello, you might be a... Yep, you're a head. Apparently, literally everyone on this mission had slightly ridiculous multicoloured haircuts. Because you are the second person I found with a kind of a zebra-style haircut there. Are you by any chance going to say flip again? Nope, you've actually got over your surprise at this point. Lovely. So somewhere around here... It's going to be a whole bunch of body parts and... Ah! That looks like... Oh no, that's oxygen. Well, we'll grab that now. That'll do. And then there's another oxygen over there. Right, so. Foot. Arm. And then a torso. The game said the sharks were riled up by blood. So if I just nudge all these body pieces over there, there'll be less blood around here and the sharks will be less riled up. So we're just going to boop all these body pieces over there there and the sharks will follow over there right data log the next good okay auction topped up sharks don't seem too interested in me good in which case one more data log now data log so emp blast two dead and ripped apart by crazed fish and we've also got the name of a ship to head to so now we can head into the ship uh oh are you okay something is interfering with the screen Weird. An odd frequency, perhaps? Anyway, I found the coordinates of the ship mentioned in the logs. Go and have a look around. Here we go. Big old... Ooh, a container ship. I was imagining like an old pirate galleon or something, but no. It's a big old container ship. All right. Well, not that big. Well, the sounds of container ships actually almost weirdly small. Like The main reason that container ships are an economical way of transferring stuff around the world is because, yeah, they can be like a kilometre long. So you can transfer ridiculous things. Like a, a container ship that small almost doesn't make much sense, to be honest. But never mind, never mind. Also, there's a massive shark, because of course they're flipping is. So, shark over there. Nothing to worry about. Let's turn on the... Oh, hello, Mr. Shark. Probably don't shine a light at that. Probably. They don't appreciate that. Now I just need to head into here and find a something something x-ray something. That's what he said. He said a something something x-ray something. So through here, retrieve a working RTX. But admittedly, I'm kind of curious whether these... Like the game's saying go over here. I'm kind of curious whether the containers actually contain anything. 
Like, can we find out what this thing was supposed to be shipping? And the answer is... Literally nothing. Not only was... Well, actually, I guess that does make sense. I guess, like, you know, like, container ships are very often used for shipping, like, large volume of relatively cheap goods from China uh, towards, like, uh, Britain and America when it wouldn't be cost efficient to air freight them. I know this because I actually uh, worked in a business that did shipping from... And by the way, that's quite good, by the way. I'm just kind of expecting a shark to be hiding in one of these because, yeah, it's perfectly dark. Actually, that doesn't even make sense. You're going up to something like here... Like, it doesn't make sense this is perfectly dark and then just becomes light in a second. But I was kind of half expecting a sleeping shark to be in one and wake up and just get me. So, okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything in here. This might be a ship that's probably returning to China or something, having just delivered goods to America. I'm not sure if I actually said where we are in the sea right now. So, okay, we need to go in here. That means I need to find an entry point. Here we are, there's an open door. So through here, and I feel like actually we probably stumbled across the right thing straight away. Just got to watch out for, yeah, sharks, etc. And it could be, ah, it could be in the room above me. It's roughly this room, but might be something else. So go up, through here, and watch out for flipping sharks. This would make a really good VR game, by the way. I want to say a good VR game. This would be a terrifying VR game. And that looks like the sort of important thing I want to get my hands on. Hello, Resonance Terrain X-Ray. Yeah, I'll have one of them. Handheld device allows you to scout at important objects in the world. You need this as part of the exploration component of the game. Runs on a battery. Find your battery is low. It will begin to malfunction. You need to locate a new one. Okay, fine. Uh, by any chance, that a battery right flipping there. Uh, no, that's just a data log. Well, that's useful at least. And oh yes, it's more flipping heads. You know, I'm almost surprised we found so many heads. Like, you know, this place was already sunk. It didn't sink with that guy on board. This is one of the divers that, like, came over here. So I know this guy came from a sub. So, like, he would have been wearing a diving helmet. But, like, the three people we've come across so far have all been decapitated. And their diving helmets were neatly removed. So that strikes me as a little bit unusual. So the data log's just an instruction manual. Fine. Uh, white for large mechanical items. Red for Odin objective pickups and data log capsules. Blue for upgrades, green for anything else of importance. Fine. Right, well, let's try this thing out, by the way. And if we can find a battery, that'd be just magnificent too. Get this out. And stuff of importance. And then its battery needs to come back for a while. Got it. So this thing very much has an extremely limited battery. Fine. So it just gives you like a bit of a snapshot of what's going on. So there's a blue thing, and then there's a red thing way over there, and then a white thing even further into the distance. Okay, focus on the important thing. I now know that dead ahead of me is a red thing that I need. Probably inside one of these containers, in fact. And I'll be able to tell which one using the scanner. Although I need to be a little bit careful of the fact that there is a giant shark right there. But according to this, aha! Yep, spot on! Pick up. Oh, no, that's an artifact. I just found a stone boat artifact. Oh, yes, remember, this thing, the game doesn't pause while I'm looking at stuff. Apparently, there's a big mechanical thing over here. I should probably, yeah, I'm going to nip back to the sub to top up my oxygen quickly. Cutting the whole oxen situation a little bit fine here, but I'm sure we're all right. Yep, just in the nick of time. Top up that Trimex. Right, now it said there was a large mechanical thing over here marked in white. So basically I want everything, but yeah, the basic the basic blue stuff isn't that interesting. Let's just get this thing up. It probably needs recharging yet. So if I am now swimming directly pretty much at a large mechanical thing, which I think will be probably in that container there. So there's something large and mechanical here. And now it's just recharging itself. But if I get a new battery, this thing will be more reliable and useful. Right now I need to constantly recharge. Ah! Fl oh, flipping heck. Fine. Good. I've found, I've found a lot of corpses. Uh, but I have found, hopefully, what I'm looking for. Underwater adhesive. There's some adhesive here, Marshall. Yeah, I found some underwater adhesive as well as a giant pile of terrifying... You know what? I should have even flipping known that jump scale was coming, but I didn't because, of course, there were so many that have been empty at this point. Dear, oh dear. Right. Good. Good, good, good. Had our first proper jump scare then. Lovely. Right, hang on. Have this thing up here. I still haven't found a flipping working battery. 
But I feel like it's got to be the... Yeah, it's got to be marked in like anything other than the green. Because the green's the basic stuff. So I know it's not going to be that. So I've just got to... I'm slightly in the open water in the minute, aren't I? Oh, I really hope a shark isn't about to eat me. That'd be sad if so. Yeah, I'm going to start off with the yellow thing. I feel like the yellow thing's important. I was just really close to a shark there. So, can I get down into the ship this way? I can get down. Aha, yes I can. And I feel like this is it. Now, prepare yourself for a shark. Prepare for the jump shark thing. And no, we're okay. Good. Right, I found my thing. Pick up a battery. I found a working battery. That should allow me to get this RTX in working order. Great job, Garrus. So, I've also got data log here. Good, so I've got more data logs. Okay, I'm not allowed to enter the sub. I'm not allowed to release the aqua jet, even though the game just said, hey, by the way, you've got an aqua jet. I'm getting mixed messages from you here, Marshall. I don't know what you want me to do. Especially as at this exact moment in time, I don't actually have a quest objective. I've just got the marker from a sub, so I don't know where else you want me to go. Oh, now it's let me get out the aqua jet. Fine, it just decided it didn't want me to a while back. Fine, so now I've got a little little underwater jet ski thing. I'm guessing this is a real thing. I don't know. And now I've got... Oh, it's got a little British flag on the front. Am I British? I didn't know. The accent was a little bit... Oh, no, no, no. Don't. Okay, bad shark. Right, maybe I'm just going to turn off the light so the shark doesn't decide to eat me. And also, by the way, where am I supposed to be going because I don't actually have a oh 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 flip the I just crashed the thing and I've probably just broken the the chip rack the controls were not as inverted as I thought they were going to be there and while I'm on this thing hang on can I back off this thing for a second okay so I can back off this thing for a second and when I back off this thing can I use my thing to see what's around that's important okay so there's there's a red thing in that direction Take it in roughly this direction. Okay, roughly this direction. Pop off. Now, get out my thing to scan the local area. This will now tell me where there is... Red. Ah! It's da... Aha! Okay, and I've found a thing. And I really hope there's some oxygen down there, because otherwise I'm about to flipping die. Uh, so I really hope you've got one of the ones your auction's dangerously low. I know, but I'm really kind of banking on the possibility there's going to be some auction next to this thing. Otherwise, basically, I'm screwed. And as it turns out, basic. Oh, no, no, there's something down here. Right, pick up a data log. And now really hope that there's oxygen. That is... No, that's cesium. Okay, uncover... Ah, hollow rocks to uncover new areas. That That's great. Um... I've got bigger problems, to be honest. Like, I'm about to die from water. There's a dead guy. Oh, you see, he was wearing a suit. That's good. And there's no oxygen here, is there? No, there's no oxygen here. Right, hang on. I've got I've got a plan. And my plan is basically I need to get back to my thing as quickly as possible. Where's my thing? Oh, that's it over there. Oh, I'm so screwed. I'm, yeah, not a chance in hell am I getting back to this in time. Uh, that's, that's a shame. Well, unless this thing could get me back to the submarine, like, really quickly. And, like, I mean, like, really quickly. Like, mount it, mount, mount it, mount it, mount it. And when I, oh, flip, Where, where's the submarine? Uh, right, just, just start going. Start going and we'll pick a direction later. I think it was, it, okay, it's over there. Yep, there it is. Down, down, down towards the submarine. Hopefully I get a few seconds grace after my, I don't get a few seconds grace. That's fine. I know where the submarine is now. We're good. Ooh, and apparently my checkpoint is right here, so that's nice. Right, grab the cesium. Okay, and now where is the... Is it in the same place? Okay, so when I found that, everything's in the same place, but I start with a full tank of oxygen, so this is fine now. And yes, as soon as we get close by to... Oh, oh, don't crash into the sub! Don't crash into the sub. Dock the aqua jet. Right, lovely, the aqua jet's been docked. So I need to go to a cave, and I'm guessing I need the cesium to blast my way in there. And here we are. Something lit up down here. It could be an indication of someone who tried to blow their way into the caves, or it could just be some credits. So through here. 
and just check up here, and that's probably too big for the sub to fit through, isn't it? I'm guessing that's too big for the sub to... Oh, you know what? We'll give it a go. Oh, flip, it's a mermaid. Well, it was a mermaid. I just saw a mer... Yeah, I just saw a mermaid. Don't worry, it's fine. Uh, I don't see any more. Hang on. Where's where's the rest of the red around here? Yeah, I see some red over there. Where's the next red after that? You're just fish being lit up in the red. Uh, oh, there's another one. There's another one. It's fine. And then there's... Wait, what are you? Hello? You're just... Oh, you're just a little fish. And then, then there's just a shark here. Oh, that's... No, that was half a shark. Marshall, someone's written dying breath in big letters here, which worries me. I'm 400 meters below the surface, and I can't help but notice there's a lot of half fish around here. Like, people have actually literally been shredding sharks apart. Like, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of broken sharks here. Like, all of the broken sharks, which is fine, because sharks are dicks, and they've been dicks to me for a long time. But still, I'm mildly worried by the number of dead sharks. Oh, there's a real one. Hello. What's your deal? Oh, I mean you. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've just, I've just crashed the sub. Okay. The sub's just slightly. Now it's. Uh, are we good? Hello. I've just been rammed by a shark. And much of I'm supposed to be or not. The sub's certainly been in better shape. Okay. There's a weird shark. Okay. You know what? Screw you. Screw you. I'm just going to go over here and try and ignore you if I can. So round here. There's definitely more flares yet. Yeah, were you the shark that killed all the other sharks or something? That may be what happened here. There's more. Ow! Will you stop it? I've just spotted a really good parking spot. Everyone remember where we parked? Over here. Admittedly, I'm not desperately sure I want to get out of the submarine right now. To be perfectly honest. Oh, and yep, down. Now, just forward a bit. Down a bit. Down, down, forward. Don't crash it. That'll do. Beautiful. I want to say that'll do. Why would I get out here? Look around and see what you can find. I don't want to look around and see what I can find. There is literally the giant king of sharks who murders all of the other sharks, like, round the flipping corner. Alright? He just attacked my sub, like, twice. And I'm not keen on him, alright? And he was literally over there, and it's really dark. Also, I need to fix up the flipping sub. I've got a ton of these things, so I can fix up the sub at least. That's nice. I don't think he's around here. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. We're pretty much at the at the limit of how scared I like to be when I'm playing a video game right now. I don't like to be this scared. I'm not finding this fun anymore. I see. I see the problem. I found that I really feel like I didn't need the aqua jet for this, but whatever. Right, hop off this thing. And now I've got the final sub. And I feel like I'm about to be eaten by a shark. Big important crate right here. A to interact. Okay. And what? Oh. Oh, flip. Okay, so this basically, if you press a button, it reverses everything around it. So, okay. So, yeah, if I hit this one, the one above it will be lit, but all the others won't be. Fine. So, you just, you just reverse it, right? Come out of that for a second. And then, okay, think about this. How are we going to solve this? And by the way, literally everything's under time pressure. So, I can do... All of the corners like that, and that might make things a little bit easier. And then, if I do that, then that's ah, that doesn't help necessarily help that much. Then I can do that. So now, literally, there's only a single line down the middle. So then, if I do this and that, I've now only got these two. But then that creates a different problem, which is these are now all turned around. Then I can create a corner problem, but that, that doesn't help I- Oh dear. Right, okay, hang on. Okay, I feel like I was vaguely onto a good thing there, but I didn't work it out. This is actually quite a tough puzzle. Darn it, I've got exactly the same problem as before. A six up here kind of works, because a six can become... No, that's not useful. Claire, I need you to 
come and solve a video game for me? I've brought Claire. Claire's better at me than puzzles. I love that you called me over because you thought I'd be better at it than you. You're normally good at this sort of thing. What he means is I play filthy casual puzzle games on my phone when I'm on the train. Claire has admitted defeat. Claire has failed us. Now I'm convinced the solution is to just get, yeah, if I can just get three left up here. Now I just need to get rid of all the others that aren't that three. Okay, that's all I need to do. And we're back to my old friend of two vaguely next to each other, but not in the right position. Oh, I feel like I'm so close at this point. This feels like it's like the the thing might just do the the thing. If I just wait, hang on. If I just no, that just leaves me with one. Right, okay. That the the one is not what I want. Then I just do that to that, and then I'm balls. Damn it! I thought I had it there for a second. Oh, hello! Right, okay. Ah. And then I died because I didn't hit repel fast enough. I really hope you're not about to make me do that puzzle again. Because a mad person attacked me and I wasn't ready for it. Oh no, I'm about to get the jump scare again. Hello! Yep, there we are. You are a weird mad person thing, aren't you? And there it swam off again. There we are. Ancient Norse artifact. So, apparently they were coming down here to, like, you know, murder the... Mer people, the Nordic mer people with cesium, but it didn't end very well. And they decided to lock the thing behind a puzzle that it just took me half an hour to solve. Also, I love how no one's even like mentioning the possibility of like, you know, going to get reinforcements or anything. No, no, no. It's just purely the case of, you know what, it's fine. There are mer people and they try and eat me occasionally. Let's just, you know, go and find whatever this thing plugs into. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the opening little bit of Iron Fish, which I'll admit, as a horror game, has been quite effective. It's been creepy and interesting, and it's got the odd jump scare, so if you don't like jump scares, you're totally... You just swam straight into my cockpit again. That's the second time I've seen a fish do that. So if you don't like uh, any jump scares whatsoever in your games, yeah, maybe this isn't going to be the game for you. But I'll say there's been some quite effective jump scares. There's been some quite effective just horror purely on the basis of, yeah, being under the sea is fundamentally horrifying because you are slow moving and everything else is faster and tougher and leaps out of the dark and so forth. So yeah, it's quite an effective horror game. If you want like a little horror game, might well be the sort of thing for you. I would say yes, Ocean is a very, very good place to set this sort of thing. And there is apparently some form of plot around, yeah, horrifying mer people or something of that nature. So intriguing enough, and if you want to know where this all ends, link in the description below. But yes, I will say, quite an effective little horror game. I like the occasional horror game, but admittedly, I like my games a little bit more psychological than jump scare. But it does certainly have some rather effective mechanics in terms of, uh, yeah, just having to carefully swim around. And that was a very, very hard puzzle indeed. So maybe I'll look at something a bit like this in the future, ladies and gentlemen, though, as I say, prefer my psychological stuff, really. But in the meantime, I've been Jonathan's been many a true nut, and this has been the really rather effective horror of Iron Fish. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Here, have a hat. Oh, you don't have a head. I'm sorry, that was really insensitive of me. Oh, I don't want to interface with whatever this is, but all right. Oh, God, he's running Windows 8. No bloody wonder it's all gone tits up. Fire extinguisher, if it's a choice between you and me, I'm afraid I'm sacrificing you, just FYI.